So you want to build a messenger bot, and you're wondering, what's the difference between ManyChat and ChatFuel? I'm Dana Tran, and in this third lesson of this Bots 101 mini course, we'll go over the difference between these two platforms. Just in case you haven't heard of them, ChatFuel and ManyChat are probably the two most popular platform that allow you to build a messenger bot without any coding. Both have very similar features, but they're also very different. Before we compare the differences between these two platforms, there are three things that I wanted to mention. First, both platforms are continuously adding new impressive features. So if you really like a platform, but it doesn't currently have a feature you're looking for, it doesn't mean that the feature won't be added later in the future. Second, both allow you to build a messenger bot without any coding using a visual user interface. So no knowledge of coding is required. All you need to do is drag and drop. Third item is a question that I get a lot. Which one is better, ManyChat or ChatFuel? In my opinion, one is not better than the other. It's similar to the popular Pepsi versus Coke debate or Mac versus PC, Android versus iPhone. The answer will vary from person to person. It really comes down to personal preference, business needs, and what type of features you want to build for your messenger bot. Again, both platforms are continuously rolling out new features, so you can't really go wrong with either one. I'm a big fan of both platforms and use both ManyChat and ChatFuel. But while both allow you to build a messenger bot, they do have some different features. Let's walk through some of the major ones. The first difference is the user interface. ManyChat uses a flow builder, whereas ChatFuel uses blocks. Here's what I mean. To build a bot using ManyChat, you can use their flow builder where you can see the link between different messages, which is really great, especially if you're a visual person. ChatFuel, on the other hand, uses blocks. You can add different content to a block and link them together. But you cannot visually see how your messages are linked to each other. Next is a third-party integration. ManyChat has a built-in integration with Zapier. If you're not familiar with Zapier, it's basically a tool that allows one app to talk to another app allowing you to transfer data and automate tasks. For example, you can collect an email address using your messenger bot and feed this information directly into your email marketing software. ManyChat also has a feature called DevTools, which allows you to transfer data from ManyChat to an external database and other third-party tools such as your email marketing or CRM. But if you decide to use this dev tool to integrate and transfer data, you'll find that it costs a lot less than Zapier. However, you'll either need to know a bit of coding to set up, hire a developer, or you could check out my SaaS product called Codeless Bot, where I have done for you plugins to help you enhance your messenger bot built with ChatFuel or ManyChat. ChatFuel, on the other hand, does not have a direct built-in Zapier integration. They have something called a JSON API that allows you to connect to third-party tools and databases. It's pretty much comparable to ManyChat's dev tool with a few minor differences. This JSON API will also allow you to transfer data from ChatFuel to an external database and third-party tools like your email marketing or CRM. Again, you can use Zapier to create these webhooks but it can get a little pricey and requires a bit of setup and configuration on your end. So if you're looking to build more advanced feature for your messenger bot, be sure to check out codelessbot.com. But if I just completely confuse you and you do not know what Zapier, Webhook, or JSON API means, I do have a lesson that's included in my premium bot essential course to get you up to speed. Moving on, this last item isn't exactly one item. It's just a few different features that I wanted to highlight. Both platforms handle live chat in a different way, something you should test out. ChatFuel has the ability to quickly integrate with other free third-party analytic tools with just a click of a button. 
with ChatFuel, you can also integrate with Dialogflow so that you can build more enhanced artificial intelligence for your messenger bot. ManyChat, on the other hand, cannot be easily integrated with third-party analytics or Dialogflow, but it does have more options when it comes to growth tools, which are basically these built-in widgets and landing pages that can help you promote your messenger bot. Both also have a bot template feature, but they're a little different. ChatFuel is more of a template marketplace where you can share your bot template publicly with anyone who has access to the ChatFuel dashboard. ManyChat has a template feature, but it is not a marketplace. Instead, it's more of a private template feature where you can decide to share the template with a select group of people by sending them a link to your template. For more details, I have an in-depth 4,000 plus word article called ManyChat vs. ChatFuel that you can read over. I usually update this article every month since both platforms tend to add new amazing features to it all the time. You can find the link to this comparison article in the description below. But whether you choose ManyChat or ChatFuel, you should be able to build a messenger bot with any of the eight features that we talked about in the previous lesson in this mini course. But before you decide, there's just two very important things that you need to keep in mind. The first thing you need to know is that you cannot easily migrate from one platform to the other. So unlike email marketing, where you can export your subscriber list and import this list into another email marketing platform, you cannot easily do that with your Messenger subscriber list. There are some workaround if you decide to migrate from ChatFuel to ManyChat or vice versa, but you'll probably end up losing some subscribers as well as losing data. So you have to pick ChatFuel or ManyChat. So test out both and choose wisely. Second, do not install both ManyChat and ChatFuel on the same Facebook page. My recommendation is one page, one bot. If you do install both ManyChat and ChatFuel, you might find that it'll work at first, but you'll probably run into errors later on. To decide which platform works best for you, I recommend quickly reading over my comparison article on my site, thinktuitive.com. On that page, you'll also find a handy link to my messenger bot quiz where DanaBot can help you decide. Then test out both platforms. Both have a free account, so it doesn't cost you anything to try. To help you figure out whether ChatFuel or ManyChat is the better fit for you, be sure to watch lesson four of this mini course, where I'll walk you through how to set up a very basic bot. There's one lesson covering ManyChat and another one for ChatFuel. So that's it for lesson number three. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on other helpful messenger bot videos. If you're looking for other free tutorials and resources, just visit my site, thinktuitive.com. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Dana Tran, and I'll see you in the next lesson.